now the key difference between uh, previous you know education policy and the new education policy let us take the streams here uh, first thing is there are three streams arts commerce and science first stream is there are streams three streams arts commerce and science in the new thing no separation of streams a student can choose his stream according to his or her interest of design okay so what is happening today uh, i'll tell you one more thing in vdu in 22 23 syllabus we have changed the uh, entire syllabus how it is happening here we have made four streams here one is uh, mechanical stream one is civil stream another one is electrical stream next is digital stream that is uh, csc stream so for example electrical and electronics electrical and telecommunication electronic uh, electronics and communication all these things will come under electrical stream so now it is left to you in the first semester only they will learn python they will learn python even in one of our dab uh, advisory board one of the professor from triple it has suggested that in first semester should be there should be a python but last time you were not able to implement this time video has insisted to implement python and we have made it has given like completely the, as an elective he can choose java he can choose oops or c++ or python like this five courses they have made anything he can choose okay in first semester the another one is they have brought new thing called as uh, emerging technology course in emerging technology course they have listed our whole courses for example renewable energy resources iot like this okay so 12 courses they have listed about solar one course embedded system one course drone technology one course like this they have listed of course the knowledge for a student at that level may not be there but faculty will guide so this is how exactly the different streams they have made within the professional course not like this arts commerce science and today what we are doing in new education policy most probably 40 to 50 credits we are going to teach only professional course remaining thing like your third semester students are learning universal human values one in fourth semester they are going to learn universal human values two it is mandated they have to study that see now are we are very learning all these things uhp1 uhp2 no we used to conduct some sessions as a part of induction program if you remember when you joined in first year as a part of induction program we used to conduct one expert talk on uhp now it is not necessary uhp is a part of the curriculum ability and different courses management managerial skills project and finance management it was not that it was part of management course time course in your field sir right so now they have introduced project and finance management separate course so if you want to pursue your mba it will be very useful for you. okay that is one advantage the other advantage many people may not be knowing that so rural development how the rural, rural areas have to be developed there is a course we have introduced in most probably in seventh semester green technologies why all these are called as ability enhancement courses apart from your technical courses whatever you have in your curriculum so ability enhancement courses may be around 11 to 12 credits we have given for that one okay constitution of india of course you have studied and what is that environmental studies you have studied now uh, they are studying that and we have introduced one more thing called as music yoga sports and art and today for the first year students we are going to introduce a new concept called as skill lab also what is that skill lab so you may be knowing register and capacitor when you come to third semester in the laboratory but they are going to study there itself our concept was students have to develop at least one pcb designing in the first year itself that is why the institute has invested more than 20 lakhs to establish a skill lab and one laboratory session of half 2 hours is mandatory for all the first year students how they are going to do 14 sections but they have done 14 sections 2 to hours at least one section should not do this is skill lab so these are the changes we are doing so how are you if you see these are the streams now there is no stream as such anybody can act in, in the first slide itself i told you main agenda of your nep is multidisciplinary all the institute should become multidisciplinary and it is not necessary that he should learn this course he should learn this it is a choice of a student wherever he is interested he should learn the course is it clear so that is called as you know that key difference pedagogical structures 10 plus 2 plus 3 
5 plus 3 plus 3 plus 4. What do you mean by pedagogical structures? What is the pedagogical structure, for example, for a faculty? The pedagogical structure of TLP process means I have to plan for 40 hours course. How to plan? This, this topic requires 2 hours, the other topic requires 1 hour, next topic requires only half an hour. This is called as lesson planning we have to do initially. After planning, how to implement? We have to implement. There may be some little bit modifications will be there, but we have to. So now out of 40 marks for you, 30 marks will be written test and 10 marks will be activity. How the activity should be conducted, when they have to conduct scheduling, everything is called as planning and execution is called as pedagogical structure. Initially it was 10 plus 2 plus 3, now it has become 5 plus 3 plus 3 plus 4. As I told, 5 is what? Foundation, 3 is preparatory, 3 is Next three is high, next four is secondary, like that. So all the higher education institutions in, in, in India by 2015, all institutions should become the multidisciplinary institution, right. Award of degree, here it is compulsory either three years or four years. If any degree like BSc, BCom or BA, it is three years or any professional degree, it will be four years. Now you have multiple entry and multiple exit. Even after one year itself, a student can go out of the college. We will give a certificate. For two years, we will provide minor degree. For two years, we will provide minor degree. Or we can call it as diploma. For three years also, we can call it as diploma. Four years, he will complete. If he is ready to complete four years, four years engineering degree he can get. Apart from this, now what is the process for you to undergo MTech or higher studies, especially in India? You have to write a PGCET or any, any university entrance test, then you should get the uh, admission for MTech. So now that is not the case. From next month, this NEP 2020 implemented properly in all the institutions, especially for PG. It is PG will be converted as integrated. Four years will be UG, one year will be PG. The fourth year, whatever you are doing, the courses what you are studying for fourth year will become the courses for your PG. Clear? So now for the first three years you get a diploma, fourth year, fourth year if you are from, uh, continuing you become engineering. So engineering only the fourth year courses will change for, it is not the same for all the students. The student who is studying four years, the syllabus will be different, the student who is studying three years, the syllabus will be different. The student who is studying two years, the syllabus will be different. Why not in the whole day will okay. Suppose all the courses whatever you are studying in two, three and four years, you may come higher in second year only. Six courses, five courses like that. Okay. And now for PG, the fifth year will become the actual project implementation. Fourth year will be your courses what you are doing. That is called as integrated PG or integrated UG and PG. That is called as award of degrees. Vacational education, as I told you, we have to give more preference for vacational courses, especially for certification programs. Today, as I said, so Fab Lab, if you get in the fab lab, how, the, how exactly each and every IC will be manufactured. 90% of engineers, in, even in abroad, are working as front end designers. When you work here, back end designers mean the boundary exactly, number of people who are working from the India are very less. Okay? Now, fab, fab India, that is what called as fab units, once they are established, all of you can undergo this course. They may be like engineering course, they may not teach engineering course. But in vacational course, we may teach how the foundry will work. That will help you to get good placement in those kind of companies, right? So vacational courses will play a major role in this thing, okay? So next is the outcomes of NEB. So attaining, if you see, so visualization of, uh, I told, uh, early childhood care and education to secondary education by 2030. I have already given the hint for you. So yeah, uh, apart from this, this is Sustainable Development Goal 4, SDG 4. These are the goals you can see. Universal primary and secondary education, early childhood development, equal access to technical or vocational or higher education, relevant skills for decent work, gender quality and inclusion, universal youth literacy. If you see, gender quality and universal youth literacy, universal primary and secondary education is also a part of the 17 books what we have discussed. Yes sir, no? gender equality and all. So now SDG 4, Sustainable Development Goal 4, these are the key features of this. And attaining uh, foundational learning and numeracy skills through national mission by 2024. Right. 
So these are the uh, different inclusive and equitable education system by 2030. So you may be thinking like vocational course if you undergo, will it be equal to some kind of credits? Yes, of course. We have to include credits in your mark sheet for vocational courses also. We have to make students to undergo vocational courses. So that is why we have to equate the vocational course with any course what you are studying in your actual career. So that is the extra skill you are getting. Because of this only we have introduced the like open courses and all. Right? So anybody can take. So it is called as multidisciplinary. Any student from in the institute can take or undergo open course in any of the branch. Is that clear? Like it's, it's, uh, almost like open electric kind of thing. Okay? So these are the things. If you see, at a nutshell, first thing is multidisciplinary technology integration. Technology integration I have told how to give the equal credits that NRF, okay, National Ranking Framework, NEP 2020, Higher Education Commission of India, so HECI, so then holistic education, I told you, 360 degrees in all the angles, how exactly you can develop, that is called as holistic education. Uh, experiential learning, as we have to give more preference for the practicals, or practical exposure. That is called as experiential learning. Especially in vocational training, whatever they are, uh, they may conduct. So they have to include more hands on. So even in open course also, they have insisted us if suppose every day afternoon session should be hands on. So we should not give more theory like uh, the classroom teaching. It should be hands on. So next, these are the NEP natural uh, perspective, conceptual understanding, technology. Uh, uh, integration. So here Ministry of Education it is, experiential learning, critical thinking, life skills, everything. I told you, right? When I, as a student you should know what is happening in the society. You should develop the solution for solving the problems in the society. So that is very very important, right? <coughs> so next is, everything is same, everything is same. New structure has brought 5 plus 3 plus 4 instead of 10 plus 2 plus 4. Uh, 10 plus 2 plus 3, integrated, uh, you know, uh, program for 4 years, KSAV, what is KSAV? Knowledge, Skill, Attitude and Value, KSAV, Knowledge, Skill, Attitude, Value, whatever we are designing course outcomes for all the courses today, we are calling it as KSAV only, Knowledge, Skill and Attitude, we are going to include one more extra parameter called as Value, okay? So that is NEP, Indian Knowledge System, IKS, Formative Assessment, Multiple Entry and Exit Options. I told you Multiple Entry and Exit Options, Formative Assessment and Summative Assessment. Formative means, what is Formative Assessment? Get the feedback from the student, what they require and what topic has to be included in the curriculum. Everything is called as Formative Assessment. When it comes to Summative Assessment, whatever today we are doing, you teach everything or you ask the student to do some project. Finally, at the end of the semester, we will have an exam and he has to come and he has to demonstrate the That is called as summit. Okay. But when it comes to formative assessment, monitoring of students and time to time analysis and assessment will happen based on the feedback of the student in which area the student is good, where he is not good, or where he requires you know some improvement. Everything will be understandable by formative assessment. So these are uh, the key areas, if you see, adult education, professional education, lifelong learning, promotion of Indian languages, art and culture, I already have given. This is happening through ability enhancement courses. Today students are learning in the first year and second year they are learning IKS, Indian knowledge system and even I told you, all the Indian constitution, etc. they are studying, that is through this only. Technology use and integration, online and digital education. Most of the universities today, they are offering online education also. They, are, they will make further, maybe down the line, another 4-5 years, online education may become equal to offline education. So may equal to, okay, because people have learned many things during pandemic. You are not knowing how to use this year. We have learned how to use this year. Even students have learned it, okay. So everything can be uploaded into this year. Even we have conducted Moodle, right, some of the tests in this year. Advantages, these are the advantages of new education policy, you can see. Special daytime boarding school, ball bowens, many boarding schools are there already. 
or in consultation with teachers and expert organizations, this uh, uh, Council for Teacher Education, National Council for Teacher Education will develop. And apart from this, today we are having uh, NBA, NAC, everything they are giving. One is at institution level, one is at uh, you know uh, program level, they are going to give the assessment. But everything will come under one umbrella, only one assessment will be.